So this board is like my my new table. Pretty nice. Alright, we got some perks here of being on the border. Alright, Pembina State Museum has a super tall tower out in the middle of nowhere. I guess it's to observe the Canadian border from a distance. You might want to bring some kind of telescope because it's maybe a mile. I didn't even measure the distance to the, the border exactly. It's kind of neat. You pay two dollars to go up there? Votes for women. So this museum mostly is free, except for that big tower. Walter Welford. So a free museum with the long hours? It's kind of rare. Exhibits. The exhibits and the store are free. And then uh, $2 to go on the tower. And yet, they could pay 14 an hour to work here? I'll go in tomorrow. All right, this strange business has a border parcel service. It's the best I can close in on it. And it looks like a warehouse a little bit. And they got this lot with all these uh, unmarked vehicles that are not for sale. All these like delivery type vehicles and recreation vehicles in this gravel lot and it looks like they're doing a border parcel service as they're only advertising there might be more on the front face yeah this this is entirely uh border parcel service and they're doing some kind of vehicle service too uh, vehicle storage vehicle storage forklift available Big sign that says border parcel and a big door with a forklift in front. It's within view of the Canadian border. There's a lot of signs off in the distance. I'm guessing those are for the, the border patrol. Yeah, the door is wide open. So I'm assuming somebody's in there. Oh yeah, okay, it says it's open. They're just sitting in there doing whatever. Got various chains and tires, just various. Hmm. Various whatever. So this lot is, is a gravel lot full of vehicles with no license plates. It says on, on sign says private property, no trespassing. It looks like a car sales lot. But the vehicles are all unmarked. Uh, there might be, okay, there's a sign here. It says border auto works, not for sale. 
Border Auto Imports, not for sale. You're assuming on it. So they got all these as imports, all American vehicles. I guess Canadians are buying them. I should try to sneak across the Canadian border and claim that I'm, I'm here to help fight the fires. I wonder how quickly they'll usher me through. All right, so here's some words from the city of Pembina. Grass to the left, trees to the right. Okay. Well, they didn't light it that on fire. And I could take some for a campfire if I wanted to. All right, I don't know what kind of plant this is. Sugar beet, maybe? Is that a sugar beet? They got a lot of it. And it's protected by this hill. You can't see it from the road. You gotta go up uh, over this hill, a man-made hill for likely flooding. It's kind of a weird dock out here. How many people have fallen in? <laughs> oh man, because this gives. I don't know if that shows. What the? That gives. Ooh, that is disorienting. And you don't want to fall in here because it looks so dirty. Are there actually any fish? Catfish can survive in anything. As long as it's wet. I suppose catfish. Look at that. I can rock it. And it's for the, the boats. Not, not for me to play on. So this water might be um, un unusually low because they got trucks actually have to drive into the rocks and those rocks are not as nice and stable as the concrete. So I guess it's pretty low, looking pretty low. And it's ev as evidenced on the shoreline too, it looks like it's usually at a higher level.
right. My hands. See, where are you? Okay. What's up? <clears throat> okay. Hey, How's it going today? Uh, good. What's going on? Uh, you're got a couple calls on there. Couple calls, really? From the school? school and stuff, yeah. Really? I'm here for the library. At the school? Well, it was open. You yeah, know that? I guess I'm not aware if the school's open during the summer or not. You know, you know about the library? That I'm not aware of. No. No. All right. Yeah, there's really no clear sign that says that it's a library, but uh, I mean, there's there is one that uh, they well, got. Most schools do have a library. Well, yeah, I mean, for the public, I was in there. There's a librarian that I talked to. I mean, she could vouch. What, what was the complaint exactly? Well, you're in private property right now. No, it's, it's supposed to be public. So, yeah, but they have been asking to come talk to you and, and have you move. Yeah. Then I know you Because I was using the. What's that? Got a complaint about you down in the, the park too. That was a complaint. Yeah, you got to pay for the campgrounds down there. Oh yeah. You got to pay for. Is that, that the same person or that's a different person? That I couldn't tell you, man. What? Oh, okay. You can, uh, you can take in the complaints and then, uh, yeah, that's and then just process them through without knowing what's going on, huh? Well, what's the problem over there? At the park. Yeah. You get for the campground, you have to pay. All right, but you could be there during the daytime. Yeah. All right. But if you're just, camping there, you got to pay. Yeah. Or nighttime, right? That's. If if you're camping there like overnight. Yeah. You have to pay. Yeah, that's okay. All yeah, right. You can go to the city office. Sit. Um, it's right next to the fire hall. Okay. And you can talk to them. They they would know more about it than I would. So. The city. Oh, and I suppose they're open today, huh? Uh, yeah, they should be. What time is it? Yeah, they should be open so on, a, on a Friday. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I was using the Wi-Fi, uh, whoever this is, I mean, there's library Wi-Fi I connected to. I, I mean, I'd still like to be able to use that, so I don't know what the... I, I, like I said, I'm just, I've been asked to have you kind yeah, of move yeah, from here. Yeah, and I'd like to smooth out this uh, this, this uh, um, difference that we're having because, I mean, there's, I mean, there's a library and there's Wi-Fi that reaches outside the building that I can access. I wanted to use that. That... Uh, so, I mean, if I'd like to smooth out that issue with these people, because, I mean, this is well, a shared building. I honestly don't know who you talk to right now with, with school not being in session. Well, just call back the number I called you. I you, don't you, have that number. It's dispatch. Yeah, well, then, I'm yeah. Dispatch to yeah. Them. I mean, that's, that's, uh, that's, there's a connection there still. I mean, it's, um, I, I just, you know, for some random stranger, it could be just like, could be anybody really they could have just said oh i'm part of this school and they could be just like some little kid across the street playing a joke i mean you know how these calls go right do they give you a reasonable suspicion or a probable cause you well, know I'm, it's what's the seriousness maybe you're parked here what, with look like you're camping here to me well i mean i covered up the windows just, well you got what? all your camp stuff looks like you're cooking in there to me cooking yeah yeah i got various stuff in here i mean it's full yeah i'm not going to deny they that you, they but I, I wasn't i wasn't here the whole time i mean i that sounds like you've but, been here for several hours today well the car was here i mean they can i they could say that but i mean I, I went over to the museum i mean to have to drive to every individual spot you know how far the museum is uh, maybe it's, from here maybe it's a half a mile okay it's not far. I mean, do I need to move my car over there to, to check it out? I, that's. I mean, I, I just got. I'm, yeah, I know. I know that, what, I know what you're, I, you're the middle do. guy, and I'm trying. I know I'm, what you're trying to do. Oh, what's that? All right. You're just trying to record, which is your right to do. But you're trying no, to get a reaction out of us. No, I'm I trying to ask for a middle doing. ground. I'm trying to ask for a smooth over. And I'm just telling you, they have asked you to leave. All right. And that's what uh, I'm gonna leave it at. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and, and if I stay, they'll call again. So that's why I'm, you're saying some issue about me trying to get a rise out of you for YouTube. or You didn't say YouTube, but I'll say it. But I'm trying to smooth this over. I'd like to smooth this over, let them know that I have no in, ill intentions. I'm not you, saying you do. You know, when they call, sometimes the cops will call them back and say, okay, this is what we did, This or this is the result of the, the conversation. I'd like to smooth over this issue and say I have no ill intentions here. I mean, there, there's a library. I mean, what does this person... What is what is their true intent? Was this really somebody from the school who called? That I, you can't, know? I honestly can't so tell you. We're working off of very, very uh, 
say a shady information. I've just, I've just been told that there's a person that's been camping in their parking lot that they want yeah. moved. It, it, yeah, and all right. That's what I'm asking and, you to do is just go. If you want to go park at the gas station, go at the, the gas station. Yeah, all right. You can go park just, at the museum. Yeah, well, I was there. I mean, I don't need to see it anymore. I mean, but the school has I, somebody at the school has asked you. That, yeah, all right. Ask the car to leave. I mean, yeah, that's probably it. They don't and want then, the car parked here. Yeah, school. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I could it, probably you just. You can't tell me that people I, driving by sees this car parked here. You know, people it, driving it's by. Gonna, it's gonna ask. It's gonna has, rise a bunch of questions. Has anybody driven by this whole conversation? I mean, it's pretty. It's a few minutes I've been it, here, no. Yeah. So I mean, it's not so much the drive-bys. It's probably just somebody who's more permanently sitting around here as I am. That they seem to have more priority over the grounds than I do. It's it's kind of a strange disposition like, there. Like I said, somebody it's, from the school has asked yeah, me yeah, to come I, talk to you Yeah, ask I, you to leave. Okay, yeah, yeah, I, I heard that. Well, I don't know, I'll just... So that's what I'm asking you to do. Do you want to go I, to the park for the day? Because I was actually, I was planning on going to the grocery store. I don't know what time you they close. Park the grocery store? Yeah, well, I, there's not real, is there a parking lot? I thought they just park on the side of the road or something yeah. over there. Yeah, it's the road. There's I mean, no... It's the public road. Well, of course, yeah. So I could just park in front, right over, right on the street. Oh, there's, uh, there's no parking right here. They got a, yeah, they a got right, regu sign right There's there. a regulation, okay. Or yeah, just follow the traffic signs. Um, Man, this I is ridiculous. From, from basically from that intersection, well, basically from gas tracks to the intersection down here, there's no parking. They covering that. Uh, this main drag is a part is a. Just an only thoroughfare type well, of setting. Maybe, maybe that's probably the that's probably the complainer right there. Can't tell. It. But like I said, I've just been asked asked for you to leave. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'll move my car. Can I get your name? I'm Sergeant Morrensey. You want a Morrensey? Card? All right. Can you spell it? Because I, I didn't quite get it. I can get you a business card. M. Well, I just okay. I'll just get a little uh, glimpse of it on the camera. Oh, I'll, I'll let you keep one. I don't want to keep it. It's, oh, it's I, I got enough. I got enough stuff in my car. Yours, man. How about we just do this? I can do that. Or okay, Mortensen. It just it's just a thought. okay. All right, it's just a. You want to keep it? it? No, no, it looks a little beat up anyway. <laughs> you know, That's been in my wallet you know, for a while. I don't yeah. get many of them out, so. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll move my car. All right. So I'll just get this shade stuff Perfect. off and. I appreciate get it. Get my shoes on. I, it's just uh, it's really inconvenient. I thought I could relax here. Well, I guess you can go down to the park if you want. Yeah, I guess so. You can go down there for the day. It's just, not far. Just spend, I just, just spend the night there. Just make I sure just, to talk to the city city office. Well, I, okay. Yeah, if I decide then. If you decide to camp there, I mean, I think the city office probably pulls at four. Is there, how's the crime around here? Has there been any any major complaints besides me? Besides me just being here? We have our average. It, we have thefts. Because there's, there's no police station. You're, you're sheriff's. So there, uh, I'm sure you cover the city for them. Yep. Yeah. And, and uh, you don't really get a lot of calls in this. It goes up and down. At Do you, times it's really busy. At other times it's really quiet. Are there police stations anywhere in any of the cities in your in your? Uh, yes. There are. Oh, okay. All right. There. There's big enough cities for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll just I'm gonna go to the other side because I got that covered. So. No problem. Take off. I'll take off too. Do you have any other questions here? No. Well, I appreciate it, man. I don't appreciate it. Well, <laughs> one, one, you know, one side is happy about this. I guess that's, that's, I, that's I told, how you, that's I how you work, you, though. I told you why I'm here. Yeah, I know. I'll move. I'll move. One side is happy. All right. Uh, there's places that you can park that. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll move. I'll move. Okay, thank you. Yep. So the cops got to make sure that this parking lot is all empty because that's it's so important to have an empty parking lot. Starting to believe that these houses, that one house that I looked in, that has all that packaging inside. Is probably being used by a parcel business. They're buying up the property and using housing as a kind of storage for their business and maybe still claiming that it's a residence.
I didn't know what to think of frisbee golf at first when I saw these baskets laying all over. It seemed like uh, some kind of short-term, uh, small, small goal type of type of uh, game, but um, now that I'm watching today, right now I'm watching young kids play like really young. Like looks like they're playing for the first time ever. I think this is gonna be a little activity a recreational activity that's going to be around for a very long time frisbee golf is everywhere i don't know if was it around 20 years ago is this some kind of 2000 thing i i never grew up with it that's for sure but kids are definitely growing up with it now I'm seeing little uh, cement uh, creations that just don't really make sense. Like this? It looks like this is a statue that was resting. You can see the indentation towards the center. And then it was taken down and shifted. And there's cement uh, outlines around here just in a few a few spaces uh, that that don't make any sense uh, i guess they would have been from previous the pre the previous forts actually okay let me take that back that statue thing that i think fell down i think it was moved to right here because this looks like the size the size built in 1949 it's got these uh, quotations. I don't understand why they would just only only bring this top part and leave the bottom part because it looks like the same uh, the the proper size. Why wouldn't they bring the whole thing over here? Kind of a strange decision made in the 40s seem to have uh, stumbled upon some kind of a celebration either they're getting over one or they're just starting it but there's like kids uh, parked around the city hall library all dressed up in fancy clothes like it's a prom Let's explore a little arena here. First of all, this is a running track that a public can use, but I guess also the public has access to the arena. Can this be seen? Bearcat hockey. I wonder if somebody's in here. Yeah, it looks pretty empty. I don't know why they leave the door unlocked. And then this is oh, it's a little fuzzy. Maybe maybe we can get a shot on a higher level. I'm actually in a hockey arena. Okay, here we are. You can see what else is unlocked. They probably have cameras. Todd's Electric. They got their advertising. I guess it's not so important um, in the summertime. They don't use it in the summer. It's been a while since I've been in a hockey arena. But uh, they probably should be leaving the, the doors locked, I suppose. I'm afraid I'm going to stumble on somebody. But there's no other cars but mine here. <clears throat> Just take a pee. Oh, stop. Please use west side door to exit. Oh, okay.
Okay, it's an elevator. Front doors. Yeah, elevator. Wow. So they actually just didn't lock the door. Well, I can maybe use some water. I don't know. I'm sure there's... I didn't see where the bathrooms are, but I'm sure there's... I'll take a look off camera. The skate room. Oh, it's too dark. But there's a flat up. I'm going to try to hit that, that switch. Okay. Skate room. This way. Oh, oh okay. All right, leaving the skate room. And... Yeah, just uh, exploring a hockey arena with um, nobody else is in here. They don't even bother locking the door. There's really nothing in there to take, I guess. <laughs> Strange. I right, checked the door on the other end and that's locked. And this window is open. Why would they leave this window open? People could get right in. Yeah, there's this that's uh not smart to do. Is this city is this city that honest? It must be if they're not really oh my god, taking any precautions. They don't take any security precautions here. Alright, so I got these corn grits, so I think I'd like to finish up my corn grits oh no oh uh, I think they might be expired 21 I'm not sure it's 21 now so I should probably cook them and you know they never say uh, if there's any change in cooking directions when you grind them but I think I can reduce the time by grinding 20 minutes no thank you I'll grind them and see if see if I can make it more like five minutes must have been a wedding a lot of drinking jeez wine and beer Excessive. I was wondering why cars were left behind. Here we are. Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez. <laughs> Get them fatter. It's a lot of junk, junk alcohol, junk, junk food. Landing operation. Got the council room. Oh, okay. And bathrooms down below. Actually, oh my god. There's more seating down here. Is there a light? Nope. There's, they put extra seating down here. This is the kitchen. It didn't seem that big, but it didn't seem like that big of a party. But, uh, well, <laughs> drinking in the kitchen. What's in the fridge? Cake? Oh, God. It's the worst. The worst choices. So much junk food. There's no, there was nothing healthy that these people consumed during this uh, wedding celebration. Nothing. All sugar. So they trashed City Hall pretty much. City Hall all full of 
all kinds of drinking going on. You know, that should be a rule for all city halls. No drinking allowed. No wedding celebrations allowed at city hall. So disgusting. Small towns can get away with it. So the city didn't lock city hall this morning, Sunday morning. They don't they don't even bother locking the book return yet. Return the book here. They don't even have a lock. Look at that. In front of the library. Alright, this is a school playground. I find interesting the setup they got. It's like a soccer, like a small soccer field and basketball court. Is that what they have intended here? Or is it entirely designed for basketball and they find that they want to give, they want a wall, but they want to also give space, but they don't quite want to, they're quite not, they're not quite sure exactly how much space to give. So they figure balancing it by giving more space immediately under the basket as compared to the outside, really, I've never seen it before. I wish I knew more about this yellow flower. It's all it's, uh, in a patch. It's kind of rare to see, but maybe I might see more as I go east across the northern part of Minnesota. It does get its problems. It does look it does look a little dehydrated. But I don't know. I'd take the leaf if I knew. You know, it's pretty rare to have a city leave their tables and chairs on the sidewalk. And I recorded this a little bit before. It looks like, yeah, people might use it. Tables and chairs. This coffee house has Wi-Fi with no password. I could sit out here and use their Wi-Fi. Bully Brew. It's called Bean. The Bean Wi-Fi. And I could sit on one of their tables and chairs, even across the street at Thrivent. Do they normally keep, they don't, they don't keep them out in the winter time, but, and there seemed to be a special occasion this weekend, but besides this special occasion, do they normally do this? It's pretty convenient for me, tables and chairs over there. It's pretty convenient, got Wi-Fi, good Wi-Fi, and a selection to choose from, and nobody, nobody around last night the street was closed i didn't record it i did not record it but the street was closed like they were having some kind of function and nobody showed up i just sat out here last night for a little bit the function was a wedding party was at the the city hall inside i don't know all right i don't want to shove this camera right on the birds but I've walked underneath this canopy several times. And there's like 10 sparrows and they don't fly away. I'm not gonna shove my camera at them. It's so amusing to walk under them, but you don't wanna walk directly under them because man, are they poopers. There's some real poopers. This is a beer, a beer place. These are the cans that they fill. And then you can see, yeah, it says independent brewers. They're certified. And you can see it's a, a pretty good size operation in there. What's that all in the back? Like some tanks, several of uh, similar looking tanks, barrels, tanks, barrels, cans right here. Some, or at least that one is dented the dented can stacked they, you don't just pull that can out though it looks like it's it's part of a stack a tall stack <laughs> uh, 
some big beer manufacturing plant. I ride in Lancaster and I did not expect the river to be down so low. It's a coy to climb for the spot I chose to park. I want to stay here a while. Just hang out. I did not expect this to be private property over here. And I didn't expect the river to look like this. But uh, this, this uh, depending on how these people are, uh, this might, this could be a good spot. All right, I had no intention of recording any part of this cemetery until I saw these poles. I don't understand. There's no death dates. There's no birth dates. Each pole represents a different family, and all of them, they line every, they line the whole trail here with different plates. Three carabiners, actually, these poles look like they can be pulled up. Yeah, so you'd, you'd raise them and then each carabiner is uh, maybe going to get a flag of some kind. I'm guessing it's probably a military thing. Maybe during the uh, Memorial Day and whatever. That each, each, each family has a pole and they attach a carabiner engineered with quality, delivered with pride. Some kind of patent. Yeah, I've, n I've never seen anything like this before at any cemetery. This is, this is the first time I've ever seen a pole system. Bob and Sue Christensen family, they got their own pole just lining this road. I ride Lancaster Cemetery, Minnesota. I move from the end and come over to the tree line. I mean, I spent a few hours here, it doesn't get busy. And I have to take, it's, it's warm enough to want to take advantage of this, the shade. What, what's, what's up, can I help you? Nothing, I just want to visit. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I saw that on there, and I've seen your stuff. You've seen videos? Yes. On the Daily Roamer? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have. Wow. Okay. What a coincidence. I just, I just pulled in. Like, I was, I was gonna buy some. Well, I seen, I seen you on the corner down there. And I was like, oh, that's that guy. On the, what do you mean on the corner? Like driving here? Yeah. You turned the oh, okay. You turned the corner. Down yeah, I, I, you're a local then. Yeah, I, I'm I was from just here. I was just hanging out at the the cemetery. Oh, sure. All, all day today, just just, just hanging to, out. Yeah, I mean I didn't do cool. any I didn't do anything today. No. It was, it was a lazy day for me. So.